This demonstration is about creating CSS basic borders. In CSS, we have a number of different individual properties that we can work with. Not only can we work with a border as a whole, but we can work with different pieces of the border. We can work with the color, we can work with the style, we can work with the width. We can work individually with the top, right, left, or bottom part of the border. Each type of border allows us to control these things. This is going to be just a quick look at looking at how those different properties are are affected in order to make this a quicker video. I did already type these out so that we can just go over them quickly. I'm giving the content of padding a 25 so we can separate the border from what's in that um, paragraph below and we're going to make the top color black, right blue, bottom yellow, left green. We're going to give them different styles. We're going to go solid for the top, dashed for the right, dotted for the bottom, and a ridge on the left. We're going to use the keyword thick for width at the top, 4 pixels on the right, 20 pixels, boy that dotted area is going to be huge, and 10 pixel width for the left. Let's save this and run it in Firefox. And here's what our paragraph looks like. We can compare these to our CSS. Here's our 25 pixel padding all the way around. Our top border is black, solid, and thick. Our right border is blue, dashed, and 4 pixels. Our bottom border is yellow, dotted, and 20 pixels. And our left border is green with a ridge and 10 pixels. And that's a quick view of working with CSS basic borders.